Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGC SE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did question number 4 exercise 15.10 the topic of this exercise is to find the area under the curve. Today we are going to do remaining questions of this exercise from question number 5. But before I start this question, I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time, kindly go to my playlist. There is a folder, name is AdMath watch all previous lectures of chapter number 15 after watching you will have good command on this topic let's start question number five find the area enclosed by the curve y is equals to 6 over root x the x axis and the lines x is equals to 4 and x is equals to 9 you know the formula of the area under the curve is integrate limit a to b y dx so area a is equals to here we have to apply limit from 4x is equals to 4 to x is equals to 9 and y value is given 6 over root x dx so very easy question constant must be outside and denominator root x becomes the numerator x to the power minus half dx so 6 integration of x power minus half is minus half plus 1 is half and upon half so upon reciprocal 1 upon 2 reciprocal is 2 upon 1 so 6 to the 12 x power half and the limit is from 4 to 9 12 apply the limit 9 power half minus 4 power half 9 power half is 3 4 power half is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 12 ones are 12 so the area enclosed by the x-axis and the line x is equals to 4 and x is equals to 9 is 12. This is our final answer. Move to question number 6. Question number 6, part A. Find the area of the region enclosed by the curve y is equals to 12 upon x square. The x axis and the lines x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 4. Again, a very easy question area A is equals to limit from 1 to 4 12 upon x square dx 12 goes outside and x square becomes x minus 2 dx 12 
x minus 2 integration is x minus 1 upon minus 1. So, minus 12 and x minus 1 becomes 1 upon x. Limit from 1 to 4. Minus 12, 1 upon x, 1 upon 4, minus 1 upon 1 is 1. Minus 12, 4 1 the 4, 4 minus 1 is minus 3 upon 4. 4 3 is a 12, minus 3 into minus 3 is plus 9. So this is the answer of part A, 9 is the area. Part B, the line x is equals to P divides the region in part A into two equal parts find the value of p very very important question and very easy but also very conceptual according to question the region is divided into two equal parts focus this word two equal parts so two equal parts means the area a is equals to 9 must be divided by 2 which is 4.5 why because according to question the region the line x is equals to p is divide the answer of part a into two equal parts two equal parts means total area divided by 2 that is 4.5 students if you see the graph of this function this is 1 this is 4 and this is our graph looks like this so the line x is equals to p must be anywhere in between 1 and 4 so I can say for example this is the point p x is equals to p now we need to find this value of p very easy area a is equals to limit from 1 to p the equation is same that is 12 upon x square dx but we have already find the area of this region that is 4 upon 4 that is 4.5 why because the line x is equals to p divide the region into two equal parts okay now integrate this 12 x minus 1 upon minus 1 4.5 12 into minus 1 is minus 12 and 1 upon x limit is 1 to p okay so minus 12 must be divided by 4.5 and the limit is 1 upon p minus 1 upon 1 is 1 so minus 4.5 upon 12 this minus 1 becomes plus 1 on this side 1 upon p use the calculator minus 4.5 plus 12 plus 1 is equals to 0 0.625 is equals to 1 upon p hence p is equals to 1 upon 0 0.625 so 1 upon 625 is 1.6 hence the value of p is 1.6 this is the answer of part b question number 6 question number 6 so this question is very important and very conceptual and very important according to examination point of view now move to last question question number seven
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन पार्ट ए शो दैट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स ई एक्स माइनस ई पावर एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स ई पावर एक्स वेरी इजी फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स ई एक्स बाय यूजिंग द प्रोडक्ट रूल ऑफ डेरिवेटिव दैट इज यू इंटू वी फॉर्मूला u into v formula u is x and v is ex so u times derivative of ex is ex plus v time derivative of x that is 1 and minus e power x derivative is e power x so x ex ex into 1 is ex and this plus ex cancel by this minus ex so this is the requirement hence proved come to part b use your result from part a to evaluate the area of the shaded region from 0 to 2 very easy students derivative of x ex minus ex is x ex so if the derivative of this function is x ex then the integration of x ex is x ex minus ex so it is the reverse process integration is the reverse process of derivative now we need to find the limit from 0 to 2 so just apply the limit from 0 to 2 on the answer x is 2 e power 2 minus e power 2 minus x is 0 e power 0 minus e power 0 2 e square minus e square is e square Minus zero into something is always zero. Minus minus plus e power zero. Something to the power zero is always one. Hence, our final answer of area A is equals to one plus e square. This is our final answer. So hope you enjoy this easiest question. Looks difficult. but very easy so i hope you understand all questions of exercise 15.10 what next nothing next lecture will be again the area but this time we will be finding the area of region bounded by a line and a curve or the area bounded by two curves and this will be the last exercise of chapter number 15 how many questions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 no issue no problem i promise you i will do, i will do each and every question of this exercise just like i did from chapter number 1 to chapter number 15 students i proudly say there is no youtube channel in all over the world who provide who provides complete solution of add math complete solution means each and every exercise each and every part each and every question without taking any money so kindly acknowledge my work and how you can acknowledge please do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture